All right. Well, if you haven't heard, an asteroid estimated to be more than 3,400 feet wide is going to fly by Earth tonight at 48,000 miles per hour. So we got to talk about it. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Tamson Fidel. And I'm Erin E. LeBeau. Now, it's expected to pass within 1.2 million miles of Earth, and that's the closest an asteroid has been to our planet since 1933. Yeah, well, let's get some experts in on this one. Here to talk about it is Dr. Denton Abel, the curator of Earth and Planetary Sciences at the American Museum of Natural History. Dr. Abel, thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure. Well, so let's let's jump into this because it it's pretty soon. Actually, it's happening. It's one point two million it's, miles away. It's very but close. <laughs> well, is, it's is there a chance of it being it, closer? Yeah, there are meteorites, uh, small bodies that have come, of course, hit the Earth, and small bodies, little tiny dust particles, hit the Earth every day. But this is a big body. It's a kilometer in diameter, as you've said, like the Empire State Building almost, and. But it's wide. Also, it's not tall and skinny. But it's it's going to come about four Earth Moon distances. So it's not as close as the Moon, which is is good. It's very good because that's a big piece of rock. The uh, width of this asteroid. How is something like that measured? We use radar primarily. Um, we can tell sort of how big it is by how much light it, sunlight it reflects. But unless we know what the surface is made out of, it could be very, very, that could be misleading. So radar is the best because we send signals out and they come back to us. We can time them and um, we can see how where it is, how fast it's moving, all kinds of cool things. All right, so you're the expert. And so we, we hear about this when it's something that's just kind of phenomenal. But is this pretty common or is just not something this big that common? Something this big is not that common. It's it's very uncommon. Thank goodness, uh, the the dinosaurs had a had a, a close encounter with a 10 kilometer asteroid 66 million years ago. Uh, we don't want that to happen, and we're actively scientists, not myself, are working actively to try to make this not happen and figure out what to do if it should happen. Now, doctor, uh, if we want to take in this phenomenon, how can we uh, see it at this point? There will be live feeds on the web. Um, I noticed that there it was a Italian telescope that's going to be uh, in a good viewing position, was in a good viewing position earlier today, in fact. And these will be live streamed uh, so one can look on the web and find out who is streaming what telescopic observations of this thing. And as it comes near the Earth, we'll get a much better sense of how big it is, whether it's tumbling in space, which many, many asteroids actually do as they go around the sun. They're, they're rotating in weird, strange ways. So all that's going to be available, I assume. All right. This is interesting, huh? <laughs> I know you do this all the time, but for us, this is fascinating. Well, I study the rocks. The rocks yeah. that come to Earth from these bodies are, are meteorites, and we collect them. We show them to the public in the Museum of Natural History. and we study them to understand what we can do to deflect them, but also what they mean for the origin of the solar system. So these rocks are really, really old and they haven't been rained on right, or right. ground down by glaciers or any of the things that happen to rocks on Earth. So they're very old and they give us clues to what's, what, what our solar system is like. Pretty fascinating. So we can't right. I'd love to up. sample this thing. I'd love it. Let's go sample I it. Next know. Time I know. I'm around. sure you would. This is exciting for you, right? Uh, we could have a space mission together. <laughs> I'd like that. Don't tempt us. Uh, Dr. Abel, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.